Emical slab crack repair kits are easy to use and the perfect solution to crack concrete in driveways, patios, basements, and garage floors. The materials in the kit are specially formulated to adhere to concrete and when cured forms a watertight bond that is stronger than the original concrete. Please watch the entire video before attempting a repair. At the end of the video, we will reiterate tips and reminders. The kit comes with necessary repair materials and instructions. Recommended tools for your repair are an angle grinder, a shop vac, a standard caulk gun, a wire brush, a disposable cup, and, for wider cracks, dry filler sand. In addition, you may want to have a 5-gallon bucket and a trowel available. To begin, clean and vacuum the area and chase the crack if needed with a right angle grinder. The crack must be completely dry for a successful repair. If it is not dry, you should either wait for the crack to dry or use a heat gun or hair dryer to evaporate the moisture inside the crack. To improve penetration of material, hairline cracks may need to be opened up to at least 1 8 inch wide by a quarter inch deep with an angle grinder. If the needle tip fits inside the crack, however, grinding it is not necessary. Only use the needle tip with smaller cracks as it will slow the flow of material, which will cause the 555 to begin curing more quickly within the mixer. After you've chased the crack, vacuum it again to remove any loose debris. If cracks are large, mound sand parallel to crack for ease of use. On wider cracks, first, add sand to fill any voids under the slab. Standard slabs are 4 inches deep. If possible, measure the level of the sand. Sand should not fill the entire crack. Leave 4 inches from top of slab. To begin, shake the tube of 555 for 4 to 6 minutes. Remove the blue, then the white caps from the tube set. Install the white pyramid shaped crossover restrictor. Next, place the mixer and nut on the tube. Tighten the nut firmly. While keeping the tube pointed up, insert it into the gun. Purge all the air in the mixer while rocking the tube side to side. Due to the lead lag effect where one component dispenses earlier or later than the other, discard approximately one mixer nozzle to get a good mix. This will ensure a one-to-one -one ratio of material. Do this for each tube you use. At this point, always keep the tube set pointed down to avoid an improper mix or cross-contamination. If you must pause in your injection, hang the gun over a 5-gallon pail, squeezing the trigger every 30 seconds to avoid materials hardening in the mixer. If the material hardens, the mixer is no longer usable and the mixer and restrictor must be replaced. Try to plan a stopping point for the end of the tube. When nearing the end of the tube, bubbles may indicate the lag of material. Discontinue use of remaining product. Lay in your first layer of 555, approximately half inch deep. Continue along the length of the crack. Work from one end of the crack to the other, adding one layer at a time. For wider cracks, using your free hand, brush approximately half inch of sand behind area injected. This will create an aggregate mix of 555 and sand, adding strength to the repair. If you have a second person helping with the repair, they may follow behind instead of brushing in the sand yourself. When injecting smaller cracks, sand is not required. When reaching the end of the crack, hold a disposable cup under the mixer and return with it to your starting point. This will prevent drips from staining concrete. Repeat each of these steps, layering sand and 555 until the crack is completely filled. Any excess 555 may be smoothed out while material is still wet. However, do not attempt to work with partially cured material. This will pull the 555 away from the inside of the crack and reduce the effectiveness of the repair. After the 555 has fully cured, you can grind down any excess with your angle grinder. The repair is now complete. You may open the area to light traffic in approximately 30 minutes. Emicol 555 will not accept stains. However, epoxy and paint overlays can be applied in about an hour. Additional tips and reminders. 
Properly shaking the tube of 555 is essential for the success of your application. Be sure the crack is completely dry. Bubbles may appear after the repair if not dry. If you cannot get the crack completely dry, stop filling approximately half inch below slab surface. Wait 15 minutes, then top off. This will isolate the moisture below the top coat. Single tubes have two chambers of material that dispense side by side. Parts A and B mix in the mixer while injecting. It is normal for the caulk gun to stop when the rear plunger meets the halfway divider. You have simultaneously dispensed both chambers of material. Try to use complete tubes before stopping to avoid cross-contamination with a partial tube. Prep all cracks before starting the injection process. For more information and helpful tutorials, visit our website at emacol.com. To speak to an expert, call us at 815-372-2493. Serving the waterproofing and concrete industries since 1987.